Hi, my name is Dr. Terry Jones, and this is the Braveheart Show. If you read the news this week, you notice that we've had another time of people coming out. People proclaiming the fact that they are gay, homosexual. We have movie stars. The latest of these being the star of the Top Gun movie, the man from MASH, now, now coming out and proclaiming, I am gay. I, I am gay and proud of it. What, 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 what does that mean? I mean, it is time for our Christian leaders to take a stand on many, many issues, and even especially on this issue. Gay. Being a homosexual, being proud of it, coming out. It's against the Bible. It, it, is, it is against the Word of God. But even if you don't really believe in the Bible, you don't believe the Bible is inspired by God, it is given to us to teach us, to train us. If we, if we do not believe in, in God at all, then I believe that we can look, we can look even at nature. Homosexuality, be, being gay, is not even, it's not even normal. I mean, I mean, you, you do not, you do not see that in nature. Even, even the, uh, the homosexual act itself, it, it does not, it does not, it does not produce life. And actually everything that we do, if it does not produce life, it does not reproduce, then, it, then it's, probably, it's probably not a good thing. I mean, if we, if, we, if we look at gay, if we look at, again, the homosexual, the homosexual act, if we just look at it at a logical, in a logical manner, it cannot be okay. It cannot be the way nature intended. It cannot be the way God intended. One man climbing up on another man and poking him is not, is not God's way. It is, it is not natural. Here in our country, we must, we must stand up. Our country is going down a path that is not possible, that, that, is, not, that is not good. As we mentioned in our last show, we have gay marriages, same-sex marriages. We have crime that is running rapid. We have, we have a problem now in our society that, that, is actually, that is actually very, very serious. We have a problem with obesity. It, it's very dangerous to the people. It's very dangerous for our health system. Well, when I, when I, when I was a young man, the only actually overweight people were the people who were older. Now, 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 nowadays, this issue is not even dealt with. Now you have babies. You have, you have young people. You, you have young adults who are not only overweight, but, but actually obese. Uh, can, cannot, can, can hardly move and function in a normal way. Uh, our nation is becoming a nation that is totally undisciplined. We have become a nation that, that is that is teaching wrong moral family values. Very popular show on television. I heard they were discussing uh, evolution. And they were discussing how if you do not teach evolution, if you do not teach Darwinism, then it's child abuse. Because creation is only a imaginable fantasy of religious fanatics. So, so you must teach Darwinism or it is, it is, it is abuse. That, that, is, that is where our nation, our nation is headed. I mean, we must, we must as Christian leaders, we must, we must stand up. I mean, evolution, evolution has no, no, no proven fact. This person said you must teach evolution because it is a scientific fact of which it's not. All of those pictures in the textbooks, 
where it shows where it shows the ape, and it shows the ape developing you know, into into a man. Uh, those those are not true. Those 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 are made up. There is there is no development that has been found. And if evolution was a fact, then we would somehow still be developing. Then we would somehow we would somehow still still find that in in our in our nature. But that doesn't happen. Uh, uh, when something is something, it stays that. A a a a animal does not change its nature. A dog remains a dog. A dog will never have puppy horses because nature, it, doesn't, it does not change. It stays the same. It is time right now, it is time for our Christian leaders to stand up. It is time for them to stand up and take a stand. Our nation, we have, we have, we have radio talk show hosts a former classmate of mine, Russ Limbaugh. He, he, does, he does more for righteousness, for taking his stand, than our Christian leaders do. Our, our National Day of Prayer, our National Day of Prayer is not even supported by, by our president. Our president-elect is, is one of the greatest mistakes that, that America has ever made. Just shortly, I got a, a comment from a very, I believe, ang angry man, angry boy, perhaps very disturbed. Was very, very angry about the fact that I talked about these issues. Very angry about the fact that I talked about that we have weak leaders, weak Christian leaders. We do. Uh, you do not have to take my word for it. You can watch what we present in Christian television. We have, we have all through Christian television, we have one theme. God loves you and wants to prosper you. It is true and valid. God, God does indeed love us. And he does indeed want the best for us. He does indeed want us to prosper. But it's not only about us. That, that, that is not the only message of the Bible. We, we, we must stand up for righteousness. Our Christian leaders, they are indeed weak. Because they're not taking a stand. Because we are not standing for righteousness. We can see that because of the fruit. Our, our nation is slipping down, down the road of destruction. As we begin to deny certain clear scriptural facts, e even the fact of abortion, we don't, we don't stand up against that anymore. Uh, abortion is not a choice. The baby heart, the baby's heart begins to beat after less than three weeks. That means he's alive. You might say, well, well the, brain, the brain is not active. You know, then, then what are we going to do? They're, they're, they're mentally retarded people. Should we kill them all? There are people with mental diseases. Should we kill them all? They're handicapped. That baby's heart is beating. We must, take, we must take a stand. That is part of Christianity, taking a stand for the weak, taking a stand for righteousness. So I challenge again this week the Christian leaders. Let us not only go one way, but let us go the full scriptural way. And may God bless you. Thank you.